do people experience spirituality as part of their life? That's a question I asked for a research study I conducted a few years ago. I was interested in understanding how people experience spirituality as part of their life rather than as something outside of their life. In psychology, there's a great deal of research that looks at spirituality in terms of behaviors we engage in. That research looks at spirituality and religiosity in terms of whether people attend services at a religious setting like a church or a temple, whether they read uh, sacred texts like the Bible or the Quran, whether they pray or engage in another spiritual practice. And based on what it is they do, this research infers something about a person's religiosity or spirituality. What I always felt uncomfortable with in terms of this research was that the great spiritual traditions of the world all understand spirituality as something inside of us, as something that's part of us. These traditions may use the vocabulary of people essentially being a soul or a spirit or there being an animating life force, but spirituality's origin is inside of us and it may be evident in our behavior, but the, but the key piece of it is inside of us. It's a dimension of who we are. So I wanted to understand more about that. So I interviewed a bunch of people. Some of them described themselves as religious, some as spiritual, but not religious. They were different ages, different educational levels, different backgrounds, but they all told me some very similar things. First of all, they did indeed experience spirituality as part of who they were. They understood spirituality as so much a part of them that it was like their sense of humor or the way they walked or how they carried themselves in the world. It was part of them, not something outside of them. But that this spiritual dimension that was part of them really gave them a different perspective or colored their world or was a lens through which they saw the world. So that when they looked at the world as they were living day to day, they saw spiritual openings or spiritual opportunities or something of the spiritual in the world around them. And this was true in terms of relationships. They described deep connections with people who were close to them as spiritual connections, but they also talked about seeing people they would just encounter in day-to-day -day life, like in the parking lot or a grocery store or wherever they were, uh, as viewing people as individuals to respect, to honor, to value, because they too were spiritual beings. They too had this piece of spirituality that was part of them, so that there was something to, to reverence in other people. This spiritual dimension also was part of how they moved in the world in terms of being careful with what they did, doing things out of a sense of purpose. Their work took on a certain meaning. So it didn't matter whether they were, uh, you know, I talked to a healthcare professional, whether this was uh, something that she saw as a healing uh, thing that she was doing because of her work, or simply returning a grocery cart to the front of the grocery store, that there was a meaning and purpose to engaging and doing things in the world. Importantly, spirituality was consistently a resource for people as they moved through difficult times in life. That people who were going through recovery from addiction or people who were experiencing ordinary changes in life, like experiencing an empty nest as children left home or going through a midlife transition, spirituality was something that that helped to sustain them and, and empower them through the transition. And that's probably because they all described the spiritual part of them as a place of happiness and joy. And this happiness and joy was something that stayed with them, no matter what life circumstances were, that it was an inner core that they held on to. All of these folks understood spirituality as fundamentally woven into their life. It was part of them, 
and it manifested itself in various ways. They saw it in relationships and work, and they saw it in themselves. It's important to know that they didn't just, you know, become this way instantly. For all of them, it was a process. It was intentional. They, they strove to develop this aspect of their life. Just as people strive to develop their physical ability through exercise and working out, so they did the things that were necessary for their spiritual growth. I hope this is helpful for you, that you found some information that, that you find informative about spirituality and the spiritual dimension of your life. Please be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, leave me some comments, like this video, and ring that bell so that you're notified of future videos when they're posted. Thank you very much for your time.